हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स एंड चाणक्य आई एस फर्टर्निटी आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड फाइन आई कृष्णा कुमार वेलकम यू ऑल टू टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन एंड आर टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सेहत स्कीम ओके सो प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया इज ऑल सेट टू लॉन्च दिस स्कीम टूडे ओनली सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दिस न्यूज इन डेप्थ ओके वॉच दिस सेशन वेरी केयरफुली एंड अटेंटिवली दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो uh what is this sehat scheme we are we will be discussing this actually sehat stands for social endeavor for health and telemedicine so this scheme is related to the health sector so social endeavor what is endeavor endeavor means and what is social endeavor social endeavor means social effort so this scheme will be ensuring the social effort for tackling the health sector issues by promoting telemedicine in the country so sh- this social effort would be ensuring that this scheme is based on bottom up planning how because society is also involved so it also shows cooperative federalism so here is a picture it says that don't just ask if health services exist ask if they are accessible quality driven and affordable for all so this is what this sehat scheme will address so before beginning our discussion i would like to put forward a question on pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana so which of the following are the benefits of pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana the first statement says free treatment available at all public and impaneled private hospitals second statement says cashless and paperless access to quality healthcare services third statement says government provides health insurance cover up to 5 lakh per family per year and the last statement says pre existing diseases are not covered options are these watch this video till the end and uh, you will get to know the answer and if you know the answer lock your answers okay so moving ahead we will be discussing that what is the context of this discussion so pradhan mantri narendra modi is all set to launch the sehat scheme okay and sehat scheme is an extension of आयुष्मान भारत प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना सो सेहत स्कीम इज एक्सटेंशन ऑफ आयुष्मान भारत जन आरोग्य योजना ओके एंड दिस स्कीम विल बी लॉन्च बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर टुडे सैटरडे एंड दिस स्कीम विल प्रोवाइड बेनिफिट्स टू 2.1 मिलियन एलिजिबल पीपल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सोशियो इकोनॉमिक कास्ट सेंसस दैट वाज कंडक्टेड इन 2011 and according to the officials of the government eligible beneficiaries will get universal health coverage as per the socio economic caste census data so this scheme is an step to achieve universal health coverage in the country can you please tell that uh, universal health coverage is under which provisions of the constitution of india actually it is in dpsp directive principles of state policy under article 36 to 51 so what is this sehat scheme actually what is this sehat scheme uh, sehat stands for social endeavor for health and telemedicine social endeavor means social effort se means social effort how will we ensuring social effort by community participation so this scheme is focusing on cooperative federalism as well as bottom up planning rather than top to down planning so this initiative will boost the telemedicine mission in india which focus on the use of telecommunication and information technology so telemedicine can provide rural population access for the basic specialty and super specialty consultations this is how the sehat scheme will help in the population of the country so what are the key features of this sehat scheme so this scheme will provide free cashless treatment for the inhabitants of jammu and kashmir up to rupees 5 lakhs okay and the beneficiaries of the scheme are to be provided by a card which what type of card like a card is also issued in under ayushman bharat same type like so the common services center are to be effectively used in the implementation of the scheme and this scheme will also take the help of arogya mitras to cover the maximum number of people and for this jammu and kashmir medical supplies corporation is to provide the medical supplies for the hospitals under the scheme so what is the uh, significance of this sehat scheme okay the significance of this scheme is that all the residents of jammu and kashmir will be underlying this scheme okay regardless of their socio economic standing 
दे वुड बी कवरिंग अंडर द आयुष्मान भारत प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य एंड सेहत इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ आई हैव ऑल्सो टोल्ड यू अर्लियर सेहत इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ जन आरोग्य योजना ओके एंड फॉर दिस द गवर्नमेंट इज कलेक्टिंग डिटेल्स ऑफ बेनिफिशियरी फैमिलीज हु मे बी मिसिंग फ्रॉम द सोशियो इकोनॉमिक डेटा एंड फॉर वाई बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू इंश्योर दैट ऑल बेनिफिशियरीज आर इनरोल्ड एट द अर्लीस्ट सो दैट दे कैन अवेल फ्री हेल्थ केयर सर्विसेज एंड दिस स्कीम विल कवर द रिमेनिंग वन करोड पॉपुलेशन विच हैज नॉट बीन कवर्ड अंडर द आयुष्मान भारत स्कीम एक्चुअली अर्लियर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर वॉज अ सेपरेट स्टेट which has its own type of governance governance own type of constitution so that is why ayushman bharat scheme was not implemented earlier there by the government of that state but now as jammu and kashmir has a status of union territory so now government has got the responsibility to introduce welfare measures to the union territory so with the launch of this sehat scheme in jammu and kashmir the union territory will be among the first in india to achieve universal health coverage so the jammu and kashmir union territory will become first union territory which would achieve 100% universal health coverage this is a big achievement for the government of the day so what is pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana actually pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana is a flagship health scheme of central government which was launched in 2018 and it provides uh, insurance of rupees 5 lakh per family every year for secondary and tertiary care hospitalization please remember this that uh, this cover secondary and tertiary care hospitalization not primary okay so ayushman bharat has two components what are those two component health and wellness centers and sectors and second is pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana these are two components of ayushman bharat so the health and wellness centers are focusing on improving the services at primary level and uh, pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana will focus on improving the services at secondary and tertiary levels so this ayushman bharat is the largest government funded healthcare program in the world over 50 crore beneficiaries so it is world's largest healthcare program and it is a government health insurance scheme which would be granting rupees 5 lakh per family per year okay more than uh, vulnerable families are covered as per the socio economic caste census data and there is no cap on family size and age of members and this scheme gives priority to girl child women and senior citizens okay so now under this scheme free treatment will be available at all public and impaneled private hospitals um, we got answer to one of our statements in the question and this scheme will also cover all the pre existing diseases we have all from this point our second statement of the question also satisfies so this scheme would cover secondary and tertiary care hospitalization theek hai pre and post hospitalization expenses and eligible beneficiaries under this scheme can avail the services all over the india and it would ensure cashless and paperless access and arogya mitras would provide help to the government so what are the key features of this pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana so actually this scheme provide a benefit of rupees 5 lakh on family floater basis what is family floater basis it means that it can be used by one or all members of the family theek hai and this scheme covers approximately 500 million beneficiaries theek hai and it covers up to 3 days of pre hospitalization and 15 days of post hospitalization expenses and there is no restriction on the family size age or gender so concluding our discussion we can say the government has taken a positive step the government has taken a positive step how actually what happens was that aishman bharat scheme was an step towards achieving the universal health coverage theek hai but now with the launch of this sehat scheme which is focusing on telemedicine technology the government has taken a step ahead of universal health coverage ठीक है नाउ इट इज फोकसिंग ऑन हार्नेसिंग द गेम्स ऑफ डिजिटल इंडिया डी आई मीन्स डिजिटल इंडिया सो बाई दिस स्कीम द गवर्नमेंट इज नाउ फोकसिंग ऑन हार्नेसिंग द गेम्स ऑफ डिजिटल इंडिया एंड प्रोवाइडिंग क्वालिटी हेल्थ केयर सर्विसेज एंड प्रोवाइडिंग क्वालिटी हेल्थ केयर सर्विसेज टू ऑल थ्रू दिस टेलीमेडिसिन टेक्नोलॉजी ठीक है सो इट वुड बी अ स्टेप अहेड ऑफ इट्स ahead of its earlier is on the universal health coverage and this scheme would be ensuring quality health care services 
so but there are also some challenges while implementing this policy actually uh, the proposition of this policy looks very simple on paper okay but the execution might turn out to be a nightmare for the government because for example we can take an uh, we can take an instance like approximately 45% of villages still do not have electricity and infrastructure in the country so it is going to be a very arduous task for the government to ensure this scheme so covering our discussion in a snap we can say that sehat scheme is an step towards quality driven universal health coverage theek hai see this picture this is an step towards universal health coverage theek hai it will be focusing on quality care side by side there shall be sustainable investment in health and these services should be affordable and uh, side by side while ensuring affordability you also have to ensure accessibility theek hai and most important you have to end discrimination and stigma so coming back to our question theek hai the answer of the question is b 1 2 and 3 so what are the benefits under the pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana this scheme would provide uh, cover of 5 lakh per family per year for secondary and tertiary care hospitalization and this scheme would cover approximately 50 crore beneficiaries theek hai the it would ensure cashless and paperless access theek so and the most important thing is very recently very recently a report is published by parliamentary standing committee on home affairs and the report was titled management of covid 19 pandemic theek hai management of covid 19 pandemic and related issues theek hai so this uh, scheme this uh, report is important as, from this perspective also because uh, pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana will reduce catastrophic expenditure as Uh, according to this report management of covid 19 pandemic and related issues according to this report 75% pocket expenditure in india theek hai so this scheme will reduce this category of catastrophic expenditure for hospitalizations which impoverish people and will help mitigate arising out of this catastrophic health episodes theek hai and the entitled families will be able to use the quality health services they need without facing financial hardships so if this scheme would be fully fully implemented then we would be seeing the uh, we would be seeing the completeness of or the achieve uh, we would be see that the government is working well towards the universal health coverage concept and also focusing on quality concept theek hai so this is what the sehat scheme was so thank you very much for listening this discussion we'll meet again till then keep learning keep growing and enjoy the life thank you very much don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update